when you guys are watching this, okay, when I'm recording this, this is Tuesday, the 10th. When you're watching this, this is the next day, so this will be the 11th. There is yet to be a critic score on Rotten Tomatoes for Velma, which comes out this Thursday. This Thursday, there has yet to be a critic score. You see, there are four critics that have done it. Rated both. That's all we know. That's all we know. Fresh and ugly. I went over recently. EW, IGN, and Yahoo. Who all said, one of the worst parts. One of the worst parts of the show. Was Mindy Kaling. I want to say it was Yahoo or EW. They told you. Fred. And I called it. I think everybody called it. The moment they put out the casting and everybody, Fred was the white male privileged guy. I have said on this show, well, on this YouTube channel, on this channel, I am predicting, I am predicting that Daphne and Fred will be dating. Daphne has the hots for Velma, but doesn't know how to talk about it. Velma's interested and Fred, but Fred has the hots for Daphne. In the end, though, it will be Velma and Daphne that get together. What do we go over in my review episode? When, when the first three reviews that I saw came out. They gay-baited Velma and Daphne. Velma and Daphne are set to at least have something come together. Fucking scissoring. Now... From all that. From three other reviews saying Mindy Kaling's the worst part of the show. That it's nothing more than high school teen over the top sexualized drama. You get this. You, you, have, you have this. You know. One of the worst. Possibly one of the worst YouTube. Nah it's not. Rings of Power is still worse. This. This though downvoted to oblivion these little moments oh i love this one don't you love it when writers make a show specifically for themselves and nobody else oh i love that i love going through this because i actually liked scooby-doo and you know what you know what they said right off the bat nothing should ever be changed ever and then yeah then you saw mindy kaling because that's not velma that's mindy kaling Okay, I just saw that thing fly by. I don't know what it is. It might come back around. It might have been my imagination. Anyways, apparently, Lights Camera Pod, I think this is Barstool Sports, leaked some of the synopsis for the show. Well, look at it. Look at our lovely Mindy Kaling. At Crystal Cove High School, Daphne, Constance Wu, is a popular mean girl orphan who deals drugs because of a dark family secret. Daphne is supposed to be a rich kid who basically funds the entirety of Mystery Inc. She is the youngest of five daughter, five sisters, I want to say, maybe six, maybe she's the sixth. And they all have specialties and different aspects. The one that actually Daphne is good at is martial arts. Just want to remind you guys, she's she's very prolific in martial arts. Her boyfriend Fred Glenn Horton pros personifies mediocre white richness. His mansion holds a dark secret and he has teeny whittle privates, a subject of much conversation. Do you 
remember what I just said about three, three different articles, at least two of them said that Fred was the white male privilege dude. We all called it. Multiple people called it. Multiple people called it. That Fred was going to be the white male privilege dude. Fred was going to be the joke. Fred was dumb. Fred was all this stuff. Personifies mediocre white richness. His mansion holds a dark secret. And he has teeny whittle privates. Fred is going to be their way to do all the white bashing and everything like that. But it, it gets worse because Shaggy, Norval in this, Shaggy, is always the jokester. You know, he's he's the comic relief. He and Scooby, who, again, isn't in the show, he and Scooby are your comic relief. Scooby being the main character are all gone. They're They're all entirely gone. Because, <clears throat> much conversation, Shaggy has become Norville, Sam Richardson, a school newspaper striver friend-zoned by his beloved Velma. He worries he's a beta male. Remember that lame humor concept from 20 years ago? Uh, no, I don't, I don't think that part's lame humor from 20 years ago. I think... Because normally back then, you know, the, oh, I'm friend zoned, I'm the love of my life, Velma, things of that nature, but then they end up coming together and stuff. That's not going to happen in this. It now looks like Shaggy, who in multiple other versions of the show, well, actually at least one other version, you know, gets with Velma, actually two versions now that I think about it. He, he and Velma have a thing, you know, they have a thing. Well, now he's just going to be simping after her. She's going to be ignoring him the whole time. Because I'm willing to bet place freaking money on this. Because they had... The one of the reviews I remember. And I don't remember which one. Because there was three of them. One of the reviews said that it was a love quadrangle. Now, I, I don't think the boys are going to be in love with each other. So... This little part changes everything for me. It is going to be Norval simping after Velma. Velma simping after Fred. Fred simping after Daphne. Daphne basically being the mean girl bully for Velma who used to be their best friend. But at the end of the day, those two are the ones that are going to get together. And Shaggy, well, Norval... And Fred are going to be left in the dust. This is going to be a uber woke disaster. He, wor he worries that he's a beta male. He has a widow private. Daphne deals drugs. Orphaned. No longer. No longer. Rich girl herself. Nope, she's orphaned. She was adopted. This is setting up to be a disaster. And I'm going to watch it. Adam and I are going to watch it. We're going to review it. I'm going to review this and The Last of Us. I actually can't wait for this show. Because I'm going to tear it apart. I'm going to tear it limb from limb. I'm going to laugh at it. Mock it. Mock, because I'm not going to call it this. I'm calling it the Mindy Kaling Animated Adventures. I will not call Constance Wu Daphne. Constance Wu is Constance Wu. I will not call Glenn Horton Fred. I will call him Glenn Horton, because Glenn Horton is not Fred. I will not call Sam Richards Norville or Shaggy. That is Sam Richards. This is... The Mindy Kaling Animated Adventures. This is not anything like Scooby-Doo. This is not anything like the Hanna-Barbera shows of the past. And most importantly, 
in this whole show. Remember, remember this small little moment. Actually, two moments, real quick. One, every review that I read prior to this, those three reviews, I will have that video linked at the end of this. All three of those reviews said, hey, Harley Quinn has notes. They said the Harley Quinn animated show was better than this. On top of that, this entire show, Harley Quinn animated animated show better than this. You know, adult show has adult humor, has jokes, has a talking, sh has Shark King who's, I don't like the show at all. I've heard mixed things, good and bad, whatever. Very humorous, very ridiculous. One of the th people, I want to say it was the showrunner or the producer of the show, besides Mindy Kaling, said, well... Can't put Scooby in the show because we think a talking dog isn't isn't fit for adult humor. Yeah, this is going to be a disaster. Again, I'm recording this on Tuesday. Tomorrow, this whole page could finally change. But as of right now, Tuesday, 7.46 p.m. Central Time, there is yet to be a Rotten Tomato critic score. All that being said, guys, let me get your thoughts down in the comments below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Share it out with your friends. Hit that subscribe button and hit that notification. Wait, I've already said that. I've already said hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live. No, I, I haven't said that yet. Anyways, bye for now.